doing this for a while. Uh, it has to do with the uh, with the country, with government. Uh, it's supposed to be. Um, well, I'm going to do it. What I know most, of course, is the United States. You know, you have uh, three forms, of, three parts of government. You know, you have the, the judicial, right? You have the executive, and you have uh, the, the Congress. You know, the legislature, right? In the Congress, you have the two. Well, it doesn't matter. And that's how most governments have. In the United States also have they call it the fourth estate. That would be the media. You know, the press. Uh, because when they made the Constitution, it was called the media it was called the press, right? There's a fifth one I'll get to in a well. I'll get to it now. There is a fifth thing that we have to deal with, and that is um, academia. Now, what's supposed to happen is these people here, these uh, they have the uh, the government, you know, name the uh, judiciary as the courts, right? And then you have the executive, which would be you know your president, vice president, the whole cabinet kind of situation. And then, of course, you have your legislature, your uh, House of Representatives, and your Senate, you know, like that. Um, so they, those are your three main branches. And what's supposed to happen, these folks here, though, um, you know, they have to have a lot of aids, a lot of people, especially this modern way to, to, to learn about stuff, right? But these people are supposed to do kinds of research out into the things. So if you have a, a thing that was the current thing, uh, the uh, opioid, uh, um, you know, e epidemic, Right, so these folks are supposed to go out here saying not not the not the well the courts and if the if a case gets to the courts, so they have to have people researching that. But you know these pe people have supposed to go out and you know the the, the uh, uh, we call the executive sets up commissions and stuff like that. But then the staff the staffs of the um, legislative of the legislative part. You know when you go back home, you have they supposed to be in touch with the people on the ground, so they're supposed to get information from there. But a lot of times these people are kind of lazy. Yep. Now what also happens is. To, to be informed, they got to go to community, but also they quite sometimes they go to academics, you know, academic studies to get to find out what they need to find out. Now, what's supposed in this modern era, remember when they set up the constitution, they really didn't have academic like that because well, they just didn't have it. But now you have that. So these folks here have these heavy studies, people don't read these things, you know, these diseases and all the rest of that. The, the papers coming out all the time, but a lot of times the media looks at this stuff, or the media looks at stuff that these also look and then they have to interpret, or they interpret for the, not only the, um, the government, and sometimes even for the, you know, to make it plain to the academia, they also interpret for the, um, for the masses, I don't want to say masses, you know, for, for the populace, for the citizenry. Okay, so when you have that, what's happening these days, right, since, uh, since of course there's uh, factions in the, in the, the super state, whatever, the, the, the deep state, whatever you want to call it, they've co-opted, you know, they've bought out politicians, you know, your legislators, right? They've, um, you know, the, for all practical, pur practical purposes, the uh, executive is called puppets, you know, mouthpieces, whatever you want to call them. And, uh, of course, they, well, I don't know what happens, but, well, here, well, this is interesting. The courts, now, you get your courts, not I mean, now from, from, the, from the lawyers kind of thing. Remember, anybody can be on the court, you're a judge, a judge doesn't mean that you have to have a law degree to be a judge. I mean, my grandmother was a good judge, you know. Anyway, now, so you have these people here. But now, what they did was interesting. Uh, what I noticed, like back in, uh, starting in the late 60s, I think, into the 70s, um, there were factions in the, in, in the, um, in the in, not the government, factions in politics, right, that went to the, that used the, um, uh, the academia they had these clubs, they call them, let's call them, academia also includes, let's say think tanks also, that's a little stretch there. But they went to these folks, you know, and they vetted people. So when they want to put somebody on court, they have to, they, they, they may have went to a college and they've been a part of the young, you know, whatever group there. And then they used it, and then they put them in places, judges, whatever, having to find, they go up to the Supreme Court. So like, lo and behold, 40 years later, whatever have you, you have this person that was groomed from, from the academic days to do the bidding of the superstructure, okay? Okay, great. So what's happening now is that these folks here, the, 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 me, the media, they're falling out of their job. In fact, the media, um, they've been co-opted, sold out to. They want to be a part of the elite and whatever have you. You know, so you have a lot of people there. But also what's happening, a lot of people have forsaken that, that model. You know, those, those, those big, uh, those, what they call the, the mainstream, the, the, they call them the corporate media. Now, for things like, uh, even the corporate media would include these uh, late night talk shows because a lot of people started to shift to get their information. At least young people from, uh, started with the Daily Show 
lot of attention and get the information from comedians, from late night comedians, you know, because everybody wants it. You know, Johnny Carson was pretty neutral with her stuff, but when he got to John Stewart, he was, uh, took a stand. Anyway, so what's happening is a lot. Uh, is this now has expanded not only to these late and they, they, so what, most of the time right now is you have your your, your corporate media, uh, which I like I said includes in a way the, um, the, the late night uh, comedians or whatever have you, or comedians in general. You know, people getting the information from them. So, but also getting the information from uh, from from well, quite frankly, what we're the media we're talking about, social media. You know, and so. What's happening is this is the only group right now, because these have been a lot of, well, this is like an amino. This time they can be sold out or not sold out, they, you know, whatever it is. But these are the folks that they're concentrating on now, trying to discredit, trying to get that, so they can have that thing like that. Um, they have used this before to their own purposes, but you know, you can marginalize some study and, and not, not get to that. So that's, that's your government. That's what's happening these days, you see? So, so what we need to concentrate on is just, is, well, um, let's let's put a little shout out to the to the UK, you know, for their their their, uh, their, their elections recently because it proved something. It proved that the uh, the corporatists, the, the professional uh, uh, politicians, you know, if they have a, a dynamic leader, even that 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 is opposed by the professional politicians, politicians in their own party, i.e., like Bernie Sanders and the Democratic Party, uh, including the press demonizing the late night talk show, who can marginalize them, all the rest of that stuff. Even with that, the people, you know, the people, they can through social media and through hard the hard work, the real work the politicians are supposed to be doing, knocking on doors, they can succeed. So um, again, shout out to uh, to. to the UK for doing what they did with the whole uh, Corbyn, Jeremy Corbyn, you know, uh, peace and blessings, Jeremy Corbyn. Um, and, uh, and so I think this is sort of weirdly uh, exciting, you know, if academia gets on board and, and, and social media gets on board and we can change some of these legislative people instead of, you know, giving us the, the thing, you know what I mean, they can now, you know, help to, you know, get join, join, anything like that, then they just have to worry about this, and of course, you always have to worry about the, the uh, judiciary. So, that's it for me, T from the Pattersons, taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect.